Goodbye, Mieres del Camino. Can't believe that today it is day five on the Camino de San Salvador. It is the last day today. What do we have up ahead? But the approach into Oviedo and probably an industrial section. I don't know. Pretty sure we're going to be on the road for the majority of the time with a little detour into the woods before the final approach. Wow, man, that initial climb out of the city is just there to simply wake you up. Where is it? Right there behind me. The clouds are just rolling over the mountains and uh, it's just been one of those mornings. At least it's not really cold and it's a little bit overcast, but I see some uh, blue uh, patches. Had breakfast at the hotel where I stayed last night because it was included. And yesterday I walked all over town looking for a place to eat. It was just uh, bars, one bar after the other. And just out of pure coincidence or luck, I ran into a bar that I didn't know about it that is owned by two Cubans. So while I was in there having a conversation, I was like, this guy kind of have, have like a sly Cuban accent. He was the one that recognized me. I had cap cachopo. Remember, I had it on the Camino del Norte. It was so big. I think here's a picture. I could only eat half. The second half is right now back here in my backpack. Probably be lunch. So yes, today is gonna be a stage of just getting into Leon. And I guess the subject of today's video might be, is the Camino San Salvador worth it? Is there enough support? Well, I did it in the month right after Spain opened. Yes, I did not stay in all the municipal albergues because most of them were closed. I stayed only in two. The rest were pensiones and hotels. No luggage transfer that I could see. Fewer pilgrims. I think in total we were nine pilgrims at one point. I walked with only one yesterday and as of right now I haven't seen another one yet. Beautiful day. Day two, day three were just breathtaking. I think that's the meat of the Camino and the reason why probably most people don't do it. Because day two is a tough one. And I did a 30 plus kilometer day. You could split that, do a shorter section, and then what is it, on day four, then you'll have to do like a 30 kilometer day uh, into either this town or the one before. Woo! Climbing, climbing, climbing. <laughs> But you know, I'm in the mountains. Is this the most beautiful Camino that I have ever done? I would say those two days for sure. But uh, I still have the Camino Levaniego in the Picos de Europa. So I'm gonna reserve my judgment until I finish uh, those. I have a question. Is it Fuente de los Locos or Yocos? 1776? It's a little bit dry, but it's okay. I got water. If there's one piece of advice that I can give you 
on the Camino de San Salvador is that uh, bring long pants, man. Don't bring shorts, long sleeve uh, shirts too. Why? Because the vegetation is all overgrown and here lies my nemesis. Stinging nettle. I've been hit twice already on the trip and I know what it looks like and I'm always on the lookout, but sometimes it's just inevitable. You can tell that not many people pass through here because it's just, it has just taken over. So yes, pants, long sleeve shirts. It hurts, man. It hurts when it hits you. I remember the first time in France, I thought I was bitten by, uh, by a snake. And the pain kind of fades away slowly and it may even last an entire day. was just attacked by a dog. Not all the dogs on the Camino are friendly. In this one, I just walked by it and he launched at me and I used my walking stick just to keep it away for a little bit until the owner came running out and I kept just pushing him away and uh, it happens. At least now, I'm getting my first views of Oviedo in the distance and what a view it is. Well, here we are guys, I'm inside the cathedral after walking for, uh, what is it, five days over those beautiful mountains. I finally made it here to Oviedo and I got my credential, my version of the Compostela. And then I also got a free tour of the cathedral, which is just amazing. I mean, I've been to the cathedral in Santiago Compostela many, many times, but this is my first time here in Oviedo and in this beautiful cathedral. I'm gonna take it all in, spend a few uh, minutes in here exploring the, the cathedral, and then I have to go to uh, my hostel, my private hostel, where I'm gonna be staying tonight. And tomorrow, we start the Camino Primitivo. Guys, I hope you're all enjoying the series on my channel. Uh, just share it with your friends, hit the like button, get the word out there, and if you can, become a member. I guess, as always, I'll see you on the next adventure. Wow.